hello friends welcome once again uh today we're going to continue these videos on the on the on the pivot table as we saw in the previous video so if you don't watch it please go and go to the description below and uh, tap in the videos and then you watch the full videos after that come to this video i hope you understand it please. so let's check today uh, we're going to look these three things in the pivot tables the group pivot table items, group dates, and a two-dimensional pivot table. As we know that the last video we end here. If you don't reach here, please watch the previous videos. I hope you will reach here and you will continue. Also, the summaries of this data I have given in the description below. You can download the data, this data, and you can do yourself exercise. You can do this like I do. As we saw that in the previous video, we know that we we was have many data like you see here, a lot of them. And now we able to convert it into pivot table as a summarized data as you see here, as a short of them. So now we want to also to more to give more summaries of this data. We want to give them groups. That's why this option we call what group pivot table items so how are we going to do this simply you choose the product that you want to be in the one groups example for me i want apple bananas and beans to be in one groups simply what i can do highlight them the the three components that you want or the component that you want after the, after highlight them simply right click and choose these groups <clears throat> after choose the groups you know that you see that the group one has been created and contain apple bananas and beans at the same time another things are created as a group as you see here broccoli it adjusts itself into one into groups and contain only one item is a broccoli carrot the same mango the same and orange the same so if you want these to be in one groups also you simply highlight the remaining part after that right click as you click the same before after that click the groups after click the groups now it is time all of them into one groups as a group two now in our pivot table we have summary of this data also as a group one and a group two group one contains items and group two contains items to shrink this simply click this minus sign here and click this minus sign here the group will the our pivot table now look like this you know that now you see as you see here the group the pivot table is more summarized so from this data to this you see the data has become more summarized as you see here this is we call what we call group pivot table items the first one so let's move to second one before starting this second one please click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as to become notified for any coming video if you don't do that before so let's move how to create the group dates as you know that this pivot table we have created by using the what with using product and the amount so now let's create another pivot table that will contain the dates so simply click the pivot table as you click before after selecting this all just click ok after click the ok now in here in the rows in the previous video we we put what we put product so for today videos we're going to put date put date here after putting date you see how they arrange here after that put here into value in the values put the same things as amount after that putting the in here in the country put the in the in the filter put the same as a country and here leave it as a it now as you see here our rows now it is created as a as a as a date as you see january february to to december so what we're going to do here we're going to do the groups date to do groups date simply come here and select one of the cell then right click it then come into the option said that groups after click the groups option here what we're going to see here as you see here we're going to group this date into either seconds minutes hour days or month and then quarter the most option that are very useful in the microsoft excel is to create the date group into quarter simply click the quarter and the turn it is off in this you see this quarter 
this quota is most useful. So after click it, this data will, will divide into the quota. After click it, you see it is divided into four quarters. So here the question comes here that which of this quarter is, 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 is most good? Or we say the, which is a, of this quarter is good? You can say that the quarter two is good compared to all others. Or you can say the best compared to all others here. You see? This is a quarterly quarter. Also, they use full uh, also tools in this in this quarter to make the debt group. In this one, also the useful is like this hour, month. Also, all of them is very useful. Like, like I say, the seconds. You can click it, and it, then you can divide the quarter into second, quarter into second. But this is not most uses. Or oh, I hope you understand about this uses of. Uh, of the group dates, how we can make the group dates. Simply can make the group as you make the group into the group pivot table item. Depend on what option that you have created your pivot table. Now let's check this, the last one, which is called two-dimensional pivot table. Two-dimensional pivot table. How we can create two-dimensional pivot table? As you see this in our data here, as we do before, before we do what? Before we was used to create the pivot table by using what? By using the same option as we do the previous for the first one videos, as we take the the product into what? Into the rows. As we know that, after putting the product into the rows, and then we do what? We do put amount into values, as we do before. So now we make some changes. Now put this product into column. And put this amount in this. And then here into the rows, put what? In the rows, put countries. And then into the filter, put categories. Let's, let's check the categories. Where is the categories? I don't see quota categories. This one categories. To put the categories, less how it is look like. You see, it is look like that. So what do you see before when I create this pivot table? The things that you see in the create a pivot table which differ from the other is that that if you fill the rows and the column together, this is called the two dimensional pivot table. Also, because the filter now is applied where? The filter is applied in the categories. We have a filter of categories in the filters, as you see here. You can change the different things like the say vegetable, and then click OK. It will shrink into only vegetable. If I click in the fruits here, it is shrinking like this. So let's make this uh, all uh, fast. If you want to get the visual, good visual of this data, what we can do? Only simple, we can we can we can put the ch the pivot chart. Simple, you can come here as a pivot chart in analysis for good views. Then click in the pivot chart. Then let's select this one here as it is. Then click OK. After cut that, you see the the pivot. Let's say here, Ctrl Z to return it. This is a summary of this old data. And here you can apply the change in the categories as here. Let's say I select only, let's say, vegetable. How they, they looks, look, look like. You see? It will arrange according to, this will be for better views in the, in the pivot table in the, Microsoft, in the Microsoft Excel. So this, I know that this is far from you because I don't teach you in the previous videos. But I hope if we can and continue, continue every every published video will come in this one part as a creating the chart in the Microsoft Excel. I hope you understand this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn notification bell into all. Also, share this video or if you have any question. Comment in this in the in the comment table below. Also, if you want to join in our Telegram group, the links in the dis in the in the description. You can join in our Telegram group and ask a question. I hope you can get the answer because there are a lot of people there as they know something from this Microsoft Excel. Thank you.